Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So here I am doing a video on something that the medium to dark part of the beauty community has been buzzing about for the last, I want to say, mm, week or two. By now I'm sure we've all heard of the cult fave Laura Mercier Changes Setting Powder. Um, it's been in just about everyone's yearly favorites for the last three, four, maybe even five years. If you frequently watch beauty videos, you've seen this in someone's video. You've surely seen it in my video, and this is the first one you're watching. So imagine how everyone felt when it was announced that they're releasing a new shade. Not just a new shade, but a medium deep shade that's geared towards medium to deep skin tone. So like the original, the medium deep shade retails for $38 for one ounce. Here is the new shade in medium deep and here is the original container. You can see the slight difference because this container does have that frost kind of finish to it and then once you open it up, but once you open them up you'll see there's a big difference between the original translucent shade and the new medium deep shade. So I'm going to test this powder out in two different ways. First on this side of my face as just an all over face setting powder and then on this side of my face as the rest of my face setting So now on this side, I'm going to set my under eye with RCMA and then set the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier. And now to set my entire face. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my makeup. I didn't really do much else other than add some highlighter and add a lip color. I'm trying to decide which side I like more and I really can't tell. I like them both for different reasons. Once again, this is the side that I just set my entire face and this is the side where I set my under eye with the RCMA No Color Powder and then the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier in Medium Deep. Now this side where it's just my whole face is set, obviously it's going to look a little darker than the other side. I feel like, you know, for anyone who, they, there are people who don't care for the whole, you know, brightened under eye look they just want you know one flesh tone all over across their face and that's fine that's more so you know what you would go for on this side of your face and on days when you don't feel like wearing makeup but you're gonna wear makeup that's something you could go for I think that still looks nice it's obviously not going to highlight your under eye because it's a colored powder but it's it definitely leaves a nice finish at the end however for those of us who do like the highlighted under eye look the issue before was that the Laura original translucent setting powder and just any translucent setting powder that has a white beige off white hue to it you know what powders I'm talking about um, on medium to darker skin tones depending on how you use it so if you are heavy-handed or um, you bake for too long it'll start to give you a white cast kind of like a white finish to your face even though it's supposed to be translucent so th the good thing here is that i hi highlighted my under eye with the rcma no color powder and then set the rest of my face even going over the um, rcma powder a little bit with the um laura powder in medium deep and it still gives you a highlighted look but it's not you know like this white flash photography type look finish to your face. And that's pretty much the only difference between the new medium deep shade and the original translucent shade, which I guess for medium to darker skin tones is a very big difference. You know, with this you'll actually be able to retain a color in your face. But other than that, um, the formula is still the same, uh, still finely made. And even though it is different in the finish of with this, you'll have you'll be adding color to your face. The finish is still the same as the original in the coverage and things like that. You still get the same flawless, smooth um, finish coverage with this new shade that you got with the original shade. So should you check this out? Absolutely. It's going to be an amazing setting powder for medium to deep skin tones. Um, shout out to Laura Mercier for coming through. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else to say. Yeah, no. So um, I hope seeing a demo on this and hearing what I have to say has helped in your decision whether or not you're going to try it out for yourself. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.